hey guys so i know i don't have any eye makeup on but um this is gonna be how i do my eyeliner video so i'm just gonna do like a quick bronzy eye um speed through that process but show you the products i use and i will be doing a little bit of it voiced over and i will be doing a little bit of it talking um just for time purposes and the background noise is my son i'm sorry i can't control that but um yeah so i hope you enjoy and let's get right into it for the eyes i am going to use this beautiful pigment from mac and it is in the color tan i doubt you'll be able to see it because it's so small but it's in the color tan i have a couple of these pigments i have vanilla and rose and honestly i don't even have half the cap gone and um and yeah i mean it's lasted me for a long time so it's just you know i i think the little sizes they're like ten dollars the little sizes are gonna last you forever anastasia beverly hills what is this called shadow couture War, world traveler eyeshadow palette and um this one came out a while back but it's one of my favorite you know palettes just because the colors in it are so wearable like everything's in it, wearable this one pink champagne is probably my favorite in this palette um but i really like these here these four because you could do something super neutral with that soft peach and morocco just because this is such a well not tan but bronzy kind of look i do want a more warm shade in my crease but it's going to be very light very subtle because the focus is going to be my wing because my eyes my eyes are so small like i don't have lid space it's just it's really small i don't have a lot of space here when i use tape sometimes it looks so harsh like you can blend it out but if you're look, using a liquid liner it's like you can't but make that budge after you know what i mean and i do use liquid liner i use nyc in the black sometimes i use cream i do like the um anastasia beverly hills the jet cream liner i'm gonna show that to you the paint pot that her eyebrow products come and then on the back it says jet and it's just black so this one's really really nice mine is okay guys so getting right into it i take um soft peach and i'm putting that in my crease i did kind of put it all over my lid too i'm just concentrating it now just in my upper crease just to have something for morocco to blend into you could barely even see it i mean on my skin tone it's kind of almost like the same color as my eyelids but um you always want to have just something that your next shade to blend into because you don't want it to look like super harsh and you just have one color there So now I'm taking Morocco and I kind of tilt my head back and I was trying to show you right there like the shape that I'm doing is more rounded to my eye. Um, usually I take my eyeshadow and I kind of wing it out just to elongate my eyes but for this look I just you know did like an upside down U um, like a halo effect around my eye and kept the color just very rounded. Uh, the reason for that is because I want the mo the main focus to be on the eyeliner so I'm just kind of going back and forth between the brushes and you know blending it out nothing too crazy um like I said it, this is just going to be like a kind of simple bronzy eye and then the focus is the wing liner Now I'm going to be taking a flat brush and um, the tan pigment from MAC and I do apply it dry at first and then I get my Fix Plus and spray it on the brush just to intensify the, um, the pigment and make it more like metallic and just a shinier kind of look you know I mean you don't have to do that but if you want it more intense spraying your brush with um fix plus or any kind of a you know setting spray or a mist kind of spray i even heard jacqueline hill say like you could do it with eye drops um so you could do that you could just take like you know like your eye drops by zine eye drops and put it, that on your brush and then add it to your eye so um yeah i'm just doing that just to make it more intense and then after this we'll get into the wing liner
now taking a pencil brush, I'm just adding the same exact colors I put on my lid to my lower lash line. Okay, so here I'm showing you the liquid liner I use, which is NYC in the black, like I said previously. And right here, guys, this is where I mess up because I should have just left it at this angle and you would have been able to see better. But I zoomed in too close to my eye and my camera just was not in focus. I mean, you get the gist of it, but it's not in focus the whole video. So I do apologize for that. And this is important when you open the product you kind of want to wipe off a little bit of excess like just like that you don't want to leave it because if you leave too much if you leave too much um excess on on your brush you can like really mess up so for this part i am gonna try to talk through but i'm gonna probably be quiet because i can't do my eyeliner and talk at the same time um so yeah so first what I do is I make a line going from like my lower lash line up and then I come back in on it from the corner in like this. So let me just um, show you this to make your hand more steady and um, and when you're when you're doing your, your line this way, when you press on your eye at the bottom, at the closest, sorry, at the closest part here, when you press on your eye, as you go up release pressure so let me kind of whoops too close so here's my hand right and let me show you so if i had the same pressure right it's gonna have the same kind of a thickness okay so same like thickness pressure sorry so now if I go like this and I kind of taper it out, that's how you get the tapered like, you know, kind of effect. Let me try it again. So you kind of pressure and release and then that's when, I mean, obviously it's not perfect. You wouldn't do it like this on your eye, but do you see what I'm talking about? How it's super thick the whole way here and then it tapers off here. So. You want to go like pressure and release, okay? I know that's sloppy, but that's the best way I can like describe it to you. So let me zoom back in. I hope this is a, is as in focus as it looks. Another thing too when you have your mirror in front of you it's easier to have a mirror that you don't have to hold in your hand and then um have it down like don't have it right in your face like this have it down so then when you can tilt your head back and kind of pick your eyebrows up and look up and really get your eye and then so you take the line And don't go to the thinnest part because then you're just going to make it thick. So make the little messy triangle coming this way. And then go back in and touch it up without applying extra product and apply a very light pressure. So that's the wing so far that's typically how I like to do my eyeliner sometimes I clean it up um, with concealer and a little flat brush 
sometimes I clean it up with um, and then I'll go in with the q-tip and further kind of clean it up under here right now honestly look guys with me if this this for me is like on point because I suck at doing winged eyeliner like when I say suck I mean suck so this for me is pretty freaking perfect at least in my eyes so I won't mess with it unless it's very necessary to mess with it you get what I'm saying because I don't want to I don't want to mess with it and further mess it up and then like I'm just like oh my god I should have just left it alone so once it's like you know pretty like just like you know eyeliner it's fine you know don't mess with it don't touch it because then you're gonna irritate yourself and like oh my god I should have just left it alone I should have never touched it in the first place yada 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 so now for the inside of the eye the inside of the eye again I take as much especially for the inside because my eyes are so small I take as much product off the brush as I can and then I again tilt my head like this so again guys I apologize for not being in focus but to redo it I don't want to you know leave any of my tips out that I did say in this video and I don't want it to sound too like um re-recorded so you know I mean you get the gist of it so I hope you guys can see what I'm doing now for me personally I do it very 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 thin when it goes into the eye because if I leave this kind of a thickness throughout my whole eye um I come in and that looks really pretty on a lot of people but on my particular eye shape because I don't have a lot of lid space it pretty much takes up my whole lid and then it's like all you're seeing is kind of like creep like this crease and then friggin black eyeliner so it's an, in my opinion that doesn't look cute for me so I just do it very thin and that's just how I do it guys I mean you could clean it up with concealer like I said I'm not gonna mess with it because <laughs> this is as good as I'm gonna get um I really do suck at putting eyeliner on so um i just wanted to show you my method what i use and um just how i apply it uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera just for time's sake and then apply some eyelashes and then i'll be back so you guys can see the full look and eyelashes done and everything so yeah okay guys so this is the completed look um with the eyeliner with the eyeliner and this is just the way that I do my eyeliner. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not the best. Honestly, I don't think anybody's perfect at doing eyeliner because it, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing makeup. It's hard. Like, because it's just, you know, it's just all about having a steady hand. Try to keep your hand as steady as you can. You know, um, I really don't have shaky hands. So maybe that's why it's okay for me. Just like I said, you could put your pinky here while you're doing it you know um whatever um another any other tips that i think um yeah just clean up with concealer um you could clean up with q-tips you could use tape like i said sometimes when i use tape it just looks too like harsh you know so i don't always do it um i have done it before but it's not my favorite method or the way like favorite technique to do um but yeah so real quick i wanted to talk about a few products and um or just one product this product oh well the color i'm wearing on my lips is um, manny mua over cosmetics aries and i will have the name of everything down below and i did want to talk about this really quick because it is what i'm wearing on my cheeks right now and i honestly you guys for 4.99 sorry if i was accessing but for 4.99 you can't beat this like you really can't it's um from city color it's a highlight trio collection one it says highlight and bronzer i don't know why but um it's just all highlights to me maybe because there is a dark shade like a darker gold shade in there but i use all um the first two sorry i can open it so my nails ah. okay so i used these first two i don't i didn't really dip into this one but I did swatch them on Snapchat and they are really, really nice. I dug my finger in there by accident with my nail, but um, yeah, they are really, really nice. The quality is nice. I'll let you guys know either on Snapchat or Instagram, like how they wear throughout the day. Um, 
if they like wear off if they last or they're gonna last you all night if you want to wear it out um i did spray my face with fix plus so that pretty much has my um has my um makeup set in place and i hope you enjoyed my eyeliner tutorial and i will see you on my next video